I'm James Veach. I get a ton of scam emails, but instead of deleting them, I decided to hit reply. I got a email about some diamonds. Here's what happened. I got your contact from a South African health officer in Ghana. I find that unlikely. I need to move a thousand carats of polished diamond. Equally unlikely. No, this transaction is 100% risk-free and does not attracts any danger. So I knew I was in safe hands. Whose hands am I in? Lieutenant Commander Karoma. I'm in. He said, send me your phone number. I gave him the phone number of Goldman Sachs, the bank. He said, James Feach, I'm not sure you are real at all. You gave me phone numbers of a bank, which I called, and they say that you are not real, that they don't know you. They even advised me to be very careful about you. Who are you? I am an army intelligent. Is that a thing? I said, there was never a shred of doubt in my mind that I was dealing with an intelligent. How can I prove to you that I am real? How can you prove that you are real in truth? How can any of us prove that we are real? P.S. What are you sending me? I've forgotten. He said, the contents of the consignment is a thousand carats of rough diamonds worth 7.5 million dollars. I said, can I have a picture of the consignment? Well, yes, I can. Boom. He said, send me your ID, passport, driver's license, or any of your valid ID. It was valid at the time. He said, you will need to set up an account with our bank and pay the fee. I said, I'll set up a new account with your bank. There's an offer of a free toaster on at the moment, and I've got my heart set on it. He said, don't worry about getting a toaster. I thought, I'll be the judge of that. And then he told me to contact this bank, masquerading as the Royal Bank of Scotland. But what I love is their email address was info at Royal BS, which, which I, I think is perfect. And then he said, don't delay. I don't have much days here on earth. I said, when are you leaving Earth? He said, I have not seen anybody that is more unserious as you are. Even if I die soon, do you have to mock me with it? Just come back to the bank. I said, look, I, I had no idea we were talking about your death. He said, what are you thinking I was talking about? Am I going to mass? I said, where's mass? <laughs> is that where the toaster is? He said, sorry, I mean Mars, one of the nine planets of the solar system. I'll be counting Pluto then. So I sent an email to Royal Bank of Scotland and I said, look, I'm writing to you about some bling. Lieutenant Commander is leaving me and a free toaster you're giving me for opening the account. And they got back to me. They said, please send us a filled in account opening form. And there is no free toaster. Raj Ramesh, head of costume care. I said, dear costume care, are you sure? Because I heard I was getting a free gift for opening the account. What sort of costumes do you do? He said, there is no bonanza going on. And I thought that was an odd choice of word. And then he said, and even if there was, conditions would apply. This is what I sent them. I said, then how do you explain this? Free toaster, with any new account, Toaster Bonanza! No conditions apply. Thought, get out of that. They said, that do not include Royal Bank of Scotland worldwide. I said, what are my options? I could do with a new kettle. He said, we will appreciate it if you do not bring up this gifting again because you won't get any. Just to be clear, are you saying that if I bring it up again, I won't get it, and if I don't bring it up again, I will, or are you just saying I won't do it at all? He said, please stop talking of a free toaster. And I thought, that sounds like a broken man, right? I said, of course, I shan't bring it up again. You have my word. He said, look, what we want from you is to do the right things. I said, I've done some research. I think we should go for the Longy Four Slicer in red. He said, please stop emailing us. <laughs>